Money Magazine recently offered a list of lessons that people can learn from their parents' retirement. So, like what? We are about to find out. Omaha's retirement strategist, Daryl Bryant, is back on the show today. He's the president of D. Bryant Retirement Strategy. He also hosts Retirement Strategies Radio on 1110 KFAB right here in Omaha. Good morning, Daryl. How are you? Hi, Daryl. Fantastic. Weekend. Yes. Good. Fantastic. Great weekend. Well, we're going to be talking about this. Uh, you know, the article is, talks about creating multiple streams of retirement mm -hmm. income. Right. Uh, what are your thoughts on that? Do you agree with that? And I guess explain what that concept is. Yeah, uh, well, things have changed a lot since Dad retired, right? Way back mm -hmm. in 1990, 95, mm -hmm. et cetera. Uh, let's talk about that real quick and then talk about why we need to do exactly what you just said, uh, Mike. When Dad retired, we had, uh, he had probably had a pension. Uh, he had Social Security, which was solvent. Mm -hmm. He had high interest rate environment, in other words, CDs. Safe money was very easy to do, et cetera. Mm -hmm. uh, and now here we are in exactly the opposite uh, situation. Most people don't have a pension. Those have gone away. Only 15% of people have pensions. Uh, and we're concerned about Social Security. We're concerned about our uh, economy. And we're in a low interest rate environment. So it's really backwards from uh, when, uh, you know, I, I was beginning in this industry, et cetera. So now that person who has saved their money all these years is finally in charge of developing their own pension, mm -hmm. right? So you want to be sure you set that pension up properly for yourself so that you can be certain that you're not going to run out of money many years down the road. So mm -hmm. very, very different from what dad went through. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's very, very difficult. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about streams of income, we I think first about having a job, but when you're retired, that's not it. Mm -hmm. So those different streams of income in retirement, give us an example or two of what that looks like. Well, first of all, you have your Social Security. That's, uh, however, in question. Mm -hmm. We know that we're going to be turning back the uh, income even for those Social Security recipients uh, during their retirement. That would be one thing. Cash rents would be another. If you have some rental homes, we can mm -hmm. bring some income. Farmers, et cetera, will have cash rents or rental properties, you know, uh, for us city folk. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, so, so then beyond that, we have to have some form of income, whether that has traditionally been bonds, uh, dividends from stocks, et cetera. Uh -huh. But we know that those things can fail. Everybody knows that the, the stock market is very fragile at this point in time. Uh, as was written just over this past week, most of the m most well-respected experts are assuring you that you're about to lose money in your bonds, especially sovereign bonds, which you're, 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 you're just certain to lose money uh, in those. Uh, and so we have a very difficult time setting up those pensions, but mm -hmm. that's a couple of examples. So now we need to go to more, or maybe a little less traditional vehicles. Right. Yeah. What are you going to do if you have if you have all of your dollars in stocks and bonds, which we know are going to devalue as soon as we raise interest rates, and the unthinkable happens and the stock market declines, will you still have to pay those bills? Wouldn't it be wise to go into the game with a plan B? You know, uh, Would you go into a football game if you're the football coach, Mike, and yeah. say, you know what, I think we know exactly what the defense is going to do the entire game. We yeah. won't need to yeah. change any. We don't need a plan B. We don't need a plan B. We're not going to need any timeouts or reviews either. We'll just, I'm sure we can set Listen, this thing and forget it. After our, our Nebraska season last year and the subject of timeouts, I sort of feel like we're all like, yes, timeouts are important. Those yeah, so plan, plan B. <laughs> uh, but no, but when you talk about those different different um, uh, areas of income, how mm -hmm. important is it for those uh, areas to be consistent and uh, make sure they're generating the type of cash that you need throughout the, the, the term of your retirement. Right, well what most people want is the number one response on a questionnaire. What do you want out of your retirement? The number one response is predictable lifestyle. Yeah. And to have a predictable lifestyle, you need to have a predictable income. Yeah. Well, we know where the tax man's gonna come along. He's gonna want his property taxes, et cetera. Here's the question I would, uh, if I'm a viewer, that I'd ask myself right now. If you were to walk into your pension administrator's office right now, and assuming you had a pension, and said, hey, you know, I'm counting on this income for the next 25 years. Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I have a look at what you're investing in? Because I'd really want to make sure that this income is going to come in. And then he opened his drawer and said, here's what we're investing in right now. And that investment uh, portfolio looked like your current portfolio right now, which was heavily invested in stocks, no baseline income, no plan B, no safety valves, fully dependent upon what the stock market does. Mm -hmm. Would you be retiring with a lot of confidence if your pension manager owned what you currently own, which you think is going to uh, generate a pension? Most people would say no, because mm -hmm. I own the same things that I owned in 2008. Yeah. We know what happened in 2008. If that were to occur now, 
gosh, I, I really have a problem, right? Yeah. I'd have to be, I'd be working at Walmart, yeah. you know, again, yeah. or doing something. Sure. Uh, so you have to be very, very careful uh, about how you set up your retirement income. You must have underlying guaranteed income streams. Mm -hmm. And this is why the Wharton School of Finance, a bunch of smart professors uh -huh. that do number crunching all day long, that's why they say you need to have some things, surely, that do have some upside potential. We want to grow some dollars, but we need an underpinning to our uh, retirement plan that is going to, going to generate uh, uh, significant mm -hmm. and consistent income so that you can just pull by the mailbox and pick up your check yeah. and consistency is go great. hit the golf course again, right? Yeah, right. That yeah, sounds yeah. nice. Yeah. You want to learn more about creating income in retirement? Call the number on the screen right now. We'll show you this. And if you're one of the first 20 callers, you'll get a free copy of the book, Stress-Free Retirement. So the number to call is 402-932-2141. Mm -hmm. So, Daryl, we've got it here. Mm -hmm. What do folks get out of this book? Uh, well, that is a wonderful book. Patrick Kelly, a great writer, and the uh, title is very appropriate. Uh, to, to develop a stress-free retirement, you're mm -hmm. going to need consistent income, and so setting up those safety valves is paramount. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, that number to call right there is 402-932-2141. Mm -hmm. If you have a retirement question for Daryl, you can email him, questions at omahasretirementstrategist.com, and we may answer your question right here on The Morning Blend. Thank you, Daryl. Daryl. It's always yeah, a pleasure a to week, see you. Good, to see you. Good information. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. All right, guests of the morning blend start their day with coffee from Paris.